Hi, my name is Xavier Brown. I'm from St. Bede's East Bentley, and today I'm here to talk about my interests. So, I have a dog named Benny, and I'll do a little clip after to show you him, but I just want to talk about him, about him a bit. He's a um, Kelpie Cross Terrier. He's like a small Kelpie, and um, most people mistake him as a sausage dog. Uh huh, and um, yeah, he's very friendly. We got him, I think we went four hours away to um, um, collect him from a shelter. I think he was at the age of four or three when we got him, and now he's eight, I believe, and he turned eight in July. So, he's a very friendly dog. Like, if I could call him something, I'd say he's like a therapy sort of dog. Like, He's always there for you, to comfort you, and everything like that, and um, he's just an overall gentle dog. He's very placid as well. Now, my next interest is um, tennis. I love tennis, racket sports um, in particular. Two ones I'm good at um, are tennis and tenderness. More so tenderness. Um, once again, I'll probably show you another clip after this, but um, I think I started playing tennis later in my life, I think E5, E6, I played it at where I used to live, um, in the area of Essendon, which is the other side of the city, uh, from where I live right now, and um, yeah, I went from there, and then I moved over here and played at my local club here, and now I'm in tournaments, and this is lovely. Since lockdown, we couldn't play tennis, but... Um, I think just about maybe a week ago or less than a week ago we could for so now we're back to um uh, training and i don't know if tournaments are on but i don't think which is good but yeah i really enjoy it and with tableness we have one in our garage and we play it with my brother a lot and yeah overall it's just a fun as game um thanks for listening my name's xavier and enjoy your day dude Benny is his natural habitat. What's the matter? What's the matter? Sit, sit, sit. Sitting, sit, sit. Hey there, the name is Patrick, Patrick Viviano. So today we're going to be talking about my backstory on how I first met Sonic the Hedgehog and how it sparked my journey to draw. It all started when I was in prep and my mom tasked my brother and I to practice drawing. I was a tiny bit stubborn and I didn't want to draw and would rather play video games instead. But when I actually stumbled across Sonic's games, I was intrigued by the colors, sound and game themes. This inspired me to further investigate animation, art and yes, more games. Now, I felt excited to draw something that I was passionate about instead of mum telling me what to do. It was a great trade-off. When my mum gave me my first sketchbook, I started drawing many characters right away. Not only did I have inspiration to draw Sonic, I started to create my own characters. As you can see on screen, these are my first drawings. Also, I also came up with my own character to add to the Sonic community. What do you have when you match up Sonic and Shadow? Allow me to introduce you to Ash the Hedgehog. Ash has a distinctive blue stripes. A few years later, Ash retired and then came put your hands together for Pat the Cat. He is a creation from Sonic, 
podcast and my passion for the Tiger series, which is basically a Tasmanian tiger. A few, the, the characters kept evolving and so did my art skills. I finished my first sketchbook and mo then moved on to other books that pushed my power of imagination and creativity even further. As you can see with the collage of pictures and on screen, you can see a variety of pictures experimenting drawing in drawing characters with many poses. Reflecting back reflecting back on these images takes me back to primary school. It makes me feel nostalgic. And coming up next we have 2018. Goodness! Look how much the art has improved. Well, you could say, I have been drawing Pokemon a lot, including Cuphead myself, since I kind of like a bit of a cartoonic style. And yes, we have the Mosaic himself. Next up is 2019. I started experimenting with more color and poses again. Since I started off with me, if I was in Star Wars right here, because you can see there's a lightsaber made up one but anyway but i'm going even deeper into the ocean of creativity next and finally here's my most well i could say this was a part of 2020 it would still upgrade my creativity to keep on moving to keep pushing my intelligence of drawing characters even more as you can see, I make up my own characters, including myself, including Pat the Cat, and also still Sonic. However, Sonic has always been meant to me for many years. I would always say thanks to him. And finally, here's my most recent work, as you see. I am dabbing in digital art, but I'll never give up that traditional pencil. As you can see, I've drawn a lot here. I've evolved my own character. You see a lot more sketches of of me and with a lot of color. And also, I have endless possibilities. And you should have some. And you should have endless possibilities too, if you if you have some career or some inspiration. Whatever you do, always make sure you you feel more motivated and keep continuing what you really love to do. Thanks for watching and have and enjoy the expo.